Hello everybody, good day to you. Welcome back. Glad you guys are here. I'm super glad to be here. We're uh, gonna do something a little bit different today. I had a couple appointments fail to make their appointment and, uh, and I'm all out of stuff to do for the day. So we're gonna hop in the Silverado and do some housekeeping. And what I mean by that is we got Troy over there on top of the scrap metal trailer loading up another scrap metal trailer and we're gonna haul that trailer in. So let us restarting, or starting the engine on our 2007 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 with 6.6 Duramax. And we're gonna go hitch up to the dump trailer. We're gonna haul that stuff out of here. So, stay tuned because this is gonna be a very good video. Opening Z hood. Yeah, there is our brake rotor. There was our brake rotor. Oops, look what I did. I brought it back too perfectly and I didn't give myself space to pull the lock off the, uh, the tongue. See that? I was like right on. Oopsie, pulling forward. Two inches. There we go. That was a little bit more than two inches. Come here. These are, these are more of a deterrent rather. Open, fall, lock gravity. Oh, it's so close Let's see, chains, chains, chains. How do we, it's not right. Cross them, latch them, hook them. Chains crossed, that's how it's done. Get on there. power for our brakes and lights and uh, to charge the battery in the dump all right watch this all right pre-trip inspection everything is contained uh, inside of the trailer tires good that tires good this stuff's not gonna fall out that's not gonna fall out doors are latched let's see that's not gonna fall out I think we're good here hmm yeah, that's about, that's pretty good. I'm good with this. All right, let's hit the road and get out of here. We got to get this uh, this junk unloaded. Well, the thing's not as heavy as a load of gravel, but it's uh, it's pretty heavy back there. We're gonna operate in tow haul mode today. See the little trailer light? That means we're in tow haul mode. Tow haul actually is not anything particularly fancy. Uh, what it does is it lets the, uh, it extends your shift points in the transmission. So when it would normally shift to like 20 miles an hour, it'll wind it out to like 30 or 32, and then it'll give you your shift. And each gear is, uh, is spread out a little bit longer. Oh, that's funny. I was talking to you and then I heard my phone talking down there and I was talking to Cliff Notes. So I guess, I think I lap dialed Cliff. Okie dokes, we are approaching downtown Sarasota. Uh, we're not going into town. The scrap metal place is, uh, it's off to the right of one of these lanes, roads or whatever. I think it's the next light down there. But, uh, this scrap yard, I guess they have a scale, so we're gonna quiet Siri. So we're gonna pull the truck onto the scale. They're gonna weigh the truck, and then we dump the trailer off, and then we come back to the scale, re-weigh the truck, and then they pay you the difference in whatever, uh, however much weight in the metal that you delivered for recycling. Turn right onto Myrtle Street. Turn right onto Myrtle Street. Siri said so, or Google, or whichever robot servant that is. I don't even know which one it is. Wide right turn. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Look at all that. Drop wow. piles everywhere. Alright. Your destination is on the right. Your destination is on the right. 
Let's see here. How are we going to do this? I guess. I guess that's it. Yeah. I'm not even going to go in the office. They got a scale right here. We'll wait until that guy's done. All right. I think it's our turn. We just went through some kind of a scanner. See that thing? It's for like radiation. Hello, telephone. Somebody from Arizona. I don't know you. Yeah, I think what they do is they'll uh, they'll take up all the stuff that's cars and whatever they smashed and everything they take in. They load it in those big bins, put those on a truck, and then take those to another yard that has like the big smelters, you know, the, the giant pots or whatever. Yeah. And they, I think they melt it down and then separate it. Uh, and then it goes to other facilities for like additional sorting and then they, it, of course it gets reused, I think. Yeah, received security clearance. We've been scaled. So, I guess I'm gonna pull up and then hang out until, I think I'll wait for that, uh, that AC van to get out of the way. No, no, I can squeeze in. Mm, yeah, I think I'll just back right into that hole right there and dump. I used to work on those vans. See that one says precision? Yeah. I did uh, a bunch of intake manifold work on those things. Hook that door, see that little loop right there? You gotta hook that on that little lock. That was fine. Good? Alright, come back forward over here. So then pop this guy open, lock it in, lock the valve. Can we hit the button? Sure. Run it up. Oh, that's heavy. Go back to the scales. Hot. Made a mess in my trailer. You should have seen the smile on your face. You were just like, that's cool. That was nifty. It's loud. We even got a compliment from the AC guy. Oh yeah, what do you say? He said that's the way to do it, right? That's there. the way, yep. I do not want to pick it up twice. Just dump it once. We still have all that aluminum uh, and that pile of batteries. 
Do they take batteries here? Yeah, they'll take batteries. Yep. I came in here once, I had an entire truck bed full of batteries, and they said, uh, yeah, we take batteries, but they said they'll only take two batteries at a time. And I go, why? And they said, it's like their new rule because people uh, were stealing batteries like from Walmart and then taking them to the recycling place to have them recycled to get uh, scrap value out of them. Huh. And they said without proof of ownership of all the batteries, now keep in mind these are like, I had uh, two sets of golf cart batteries, two sets of batteries for this truck, a set of batteries that came out of a, a boat and some batteries that came out of an RV. And it, they wanted proof of ownership of all these batteries. And I was like, I've been collecting these things for like three or four years, saving them up in the garage for to, to take them all in. And they're like, yeah, we need paperwork. So uh, I had to, they said either receipt or uh, like company letterhead or whatever that said uh, um, that those were up for recycling. So I went back to the shop, went into the office, went onto the computer, made a work order with company letterhead that said, Ray is allowed to recycle these batteries on blah 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 date from blah 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 whatever printed out an official repair order i signed it and then took it here and then they recycled my batteries it was the the stupidest waste of time ever ever all because people crackheads are stealing batteries from walmart and then recycling them which is dumb we're on hold you see the the hand uh Oh, I think he's back in that other truck up here before me. That big truck. Yeah. I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, I got, I got this big truck behind me. I think he's trying to get on the scales too. Yeah, 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 he's backing this dude up here first. I see what we're doing. That was a smart move, because he was never gonna swing that corner to make this scale, no way. He'll have to back down over there in that parking lot straighten up. Mm, they're leaving. I think it's my turn now. Yep. Yeah, I wonder what this thing does. Is that like a detector? Potion sensor. Weight from my paperwork. 13,080 pounds. Empty weight. That's a truck, trailer. I don't have any fuel in the tank in the back. Maybe just like 30 gallons. 13,000. Okay. Uh, that was $240 in Ferris scrap steel. Nice. Was, I mean, man, that was it's like 3,000 pounds of steel. Yeah. E scrap life must be a hard life. No thanks. I will stick to my job. All right, let's get out of here. We have to go back to work now. Enough screwing around. The trailer's noisy with no load in it. All steam. Okie dokes, we're pulling in. I'm back in the trailer, back up to where I had it in front of the other trailer, and then I'm gonna unload it again, and then or unhitch, unhitch the trailer again. Then eventually we're gonna get this stuff loaded into that dump, and then we can haul that stuff uh, off to the uh, the scrapyard as well, and uh, get some of this mess and uh, debris and whatnot to, uh, clean up out of here. But I'm gonna save that one for a uh, for uh, another day and another trip because I have. Uh, We've done enough. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to get this trailer turned around, doing like a 40 point turn, and uh, I'm gonna close this video out. So that being said, as always, like thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of behind the scenes, not actually working on cars type of video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to let me know about that by tapping that like button down below. Drop me a comment or two while you're down there. And most importantly, don't forget to have yourselves a great day. See you guys later in a video, in a transmission, in a scrap metal run.
trailer powering down. Let's get her unpinned, unlatched, and on the ground. Chain gravity. Hot. Cool. 